And now, and now, here he is. Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5-800-TOM. 1-800-5-800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. When did the New Orleans Hornets change their road uniform to look like the Lakers' home uniform? When did that happen? <laughs> what kind of chaos is that if the Lakers are the home team and the Hornets are the visitors? You're gonna have uh, you can have twelve guys out there wearing the same uniform. How bizarre is that? Jesus. Anyway, uh, who can resist? Yes, he's partying like a rock star. The Pope. He's coming to town. He's coming to your town. The Pope. Isn't this exciting? Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> the Pope at Yankee Stadium. I just can't wait for that. Hey, get your Pope souvenirs here. Hey. <laughs> get your program here for the Pope. That's going to be great. <laughs> the Pope at Yankee Stadium. Are they going to have Bob Shepard? It's going to be great. I'm now stepping out onto the field. Number one, the Pope. <laughs> the Yankee yearbook is available at all those stands. For twenty-seven dollars, and don't forget Yankee Franks, <laughs> the Pope. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't take the Pope coming to town seriously. The Catholic Church has paid out billions and billions of dollars to people who were diddled by employees of the church. I mean, come on. Who wants to step in at Yankee Stadium and, and put money in that collection plate? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh, my God. No one is allowed on the field except for communion. Thank you. Under penalty of law. Oh, my God. how old is Bob Shepard? 125 years old. The announcer at Yankee Stadium. When I was when I was nine years old, and I used to play baseball on the field across from Yankee Stadium, which is about to become the new Yankee Stadium. <laughs> I could hear Bob uh, Bob Shepard's voice at that time echoing <laughs> across the street. <laughs> He's still there. My goodness. Yeah, the Pope is coming. Are you excited? By the way, uh, to show your, your excitement, your enthusiasm, I've been taking a look here at uh, some of these websites. These are very exciting. I got to tell you, if you want souvenirs uh, of the Pope's visit, uh, you better uh, get online now. Get a look at what's out there. This will blow you away. Let's take a look here. We have the, uh, this is the official Washington, D.C. website, popevisit2008.com. 
And uh, they've got uh, all kinds of uh, merchandise available to you. And uh, it's official D.C. Uh, papal visit merchandise, by the way. Let's see some of the items we've got on sale. This is great stuff. They've got desk plaques, framed art. And by the way, what is the art? It looks like a photograph of the Pope in a frame. Get your art here. Pope art. How about this? Keychains and dog tags. That's great. So when you do it in doggy style with a priest, you can be wearing the proper tag. Uh, magnets. Pope magnets. Put that on your refrigerator. This is official merchandise. By the way, this is not people trying to profit from the Pope's visit. This is the, the, the church itself authorized this retailer to sell this merchandise. It's authorized. There's uh, Pope Apparel. I'm seeing one that says, Property... <laughs> Property of Pope Benedict XVI. They're like a t-shirt you can wear. I'm not making this up. How about bumper stickers? I heart Benedict XVI. <laughs> <laughs> you got your Pope postcards. Pope posters. One of those posters looks like, let's see. Oh, Yes. Decorate your dorm room, garage, laundry room, or bedroom with this cool poster of Pope Benedict XVI featuring one of his famous quotes. Proclaim your faith in 18 by 24 inch style. 18 by 24 inches? That's a small poster. How about a Pope Benedict mug? Fully ceramic, full color bleed, and great for any occasion. These Pope Benedict mugs are sure to brighten your morning, uh, wake you up, motivate your lunchtime brew, and calm your evening tea. That's right. And there's all different mugs, all different styles, too. Very nice. You've got the Pope Benedict praying the rosary mug. Then they've got the mug. If you really want to have to two rock stars on one mug, you get uh, Pope Benedict the Sixteenth and Pope John Paul the Second, both on one mug. This is great. You know those religious people. They they love to lord it over me that uh, I'm I'm just an atheist and and they have uh, true faith here. Oh yes, how about Pope gift certificates? What are these? <laughs> You can get, you can get is this a gift like a gift card? You can get penance or something. How does this work? All the <laughs> these are gift certificates uh, for uh, merchandise on the site. So I could give you a gift certificate. I know what our crew is getting this year. Look at this. That is just beautiful. Oh yeah, Pope apparel. By the way, I like the models in here, too. These models look like uh, they probably grew up as altar boys, if you know what I mean. The official visit apparel, they've got guys modeling uh, the apparel. That is very, very nice. How about a Pope Benedict XVI event hat? Well, how about a Pope Benedict the Sixteenth event polo shirt? Show your loyalty to your faith and to our Holy Father, Pope Benedict the Sixteenth, with this special edition Apostolic Journey polo. <laughs> oh yes, unbelievable! Now that is just the uh, Washington D.C. website. We also have the New York site here. Uh, this one is. Uh, PapalVisit2008.com and it's the official Papal Visit 2008 commemorative item store. Yes, you can pre-order the official commemorative book. So uh, in, in true uh, religious style, you can, you can get the commemorative book and then lie to people and tell everybody you saw the Pope in person when you really didn't. Oh, look here. And, and now, if you go to the New York visit, you're, look what you get here. You can get a 16-ounce uh, a plastic travel mug in silver 
with the U.S. Papal Visit 2008 text imprinted around. That's uh, $10 for that. That's item number PPV01, by the way. Oh, look at some of the stuff here. This is, this is stuff to be proud of. How about a, a white plush teddy bear with T? T-E-E. A 12-inch sitting white teddy bear wearing a white T-shirt with the U.S. Papal Visit 2008 text printed on full chest. That is great. God, I, I, I am so envious of these Catholics, I got to tell you. Oh, here we go, a Pope's golf shirt. Men's 100% pre-shrunk cotton burgundy golf tee. U.S. Papal Visit 2008 logo embroidered over the left chest. You're going to be good looking good up in Pebble Beach this summer wearing one of these, boys. Very nice. How about a Pope baseball jersey? Yeah, if you go to Yankee Stadium to see the Pope, why not? And the jersey appears like the XVI in Roman numerals 16. It looks like the number on the jersey. Unisex cotton poly blend pre-shrunk baseball jersey. Gray body with navy sleeves. And the, those, aren't those the Yankee workout uh, colors? I, or the, uh, the, yeah, exactly. You'll be uh, right in style there at Yankee Stadium. That's great. U.S. Papal Visit 2008 logo imprinted over the left chest. The back is imprinted with Benedict XVI. That's great. Oh, we got Pope magnets here, too. That's good. This is a two-by-three magnet with full-color U.S. Papal Visit 2008 commemorative image. Beautiful. Very nice. We have a crucifix in a commemorative velvet pouch. This is a one-and-a-half-inch metal papal cross cross slash crucifix with loop for chain this comes in a they don't give you the chain by the way that's extra this comes in a commemorative white velvet pouch ten bucks, that's a steal. only ten bucks get them for the whole family Jesus. Jesus that's right how about a backpack you know this this will be great for when you're getting uh, robbed at Yankee Stadium in the South Bronx Put all your stuff in the papal backpack. It's a white nylon drawstring backpack. Uh, everybody who, who's been to the South Bronx knows you don't go to the South Bronx with a backpack. You just don't. Unbelievable. Ladies slim fit shirt. 100% pre-shrunk cotton fitted ladies slim fit. Christ our hope and the papal dove imprinted on full chest. That's great. Uh, interestingly enough, not a lot of ladies' items here. Tells you something. You know what I've always said on the Tom Likett show? You know, there's a reason that uh, priests are educated at the seminary. And then once they become priests, they live at the rectory, okay? <laughs> Those names are not incidental. Anyway, there we go. The Pope is being merchandised. Isn't this exciting? And it's all authorized, by the way, by your Roman Catholic Church. Isn't that nice? Tell me this. Are you excited about the Pope coming to the United States? Does this deserve all the news coverage it's getting, by the way? Why is this newsworthy? Seriously. The Pope was at the White House. The president is where the president can't even get us out of Iraq. He can't fix the economy, but he's got time to waste meeting with the Pope. He actually said to the Pope that, that the Americans are ready to hear his message. Guess what? We don't all care. I'm willing to bet a lot of you don't care. I mean, is this really a big deal? <laughs> Like his show at 1 800 5 800 Tom. That is our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. By the way, if you go to our website, blowmeuptom.com, you can be linked to the official website for papal merchandise for the New York leg of the, the Pope's trip to the United States. But uh, here's one that uh, this is apparently not officially endorsed. But I've got to wonder who the customers are for this. 
Uh, this one company called uh, Davies General Store is selling a Pope Benedict the Sixteenth. I'm not making this up. A Pope Benedict the Sixteenth bobblehead doll says here: Pope Benedict Sixteen bobblehead doll from Davies General Store. This beautifully detailed bobblehead statue of Pope Benedict the Sixteenth stands eight inches tall, made of a heavy quality resin. And comes in a beautifully decorated box with pictures of Pope Benedict XVI, the Vatican, and some interesting history of Pope Benedict XVI's life. This Pope Benedict bobblehead statue doll is a great gift and a great collectible to commemorate the 2008 Pope visit to the United States. It's twelve ninety five. By the way, it's listed right below the Pope John Paul II bobblehead doll. And it is listed right above the Jesus bobblehead. Jesus bobblehead doll from Davies General Store. This beautifully detailed Jesus bobblehead doll statue stands eight inches tall. It's hand painted and comes in a beautiful decorated collector's window box. The Jesus bobblehead makes a wonderful gift and collectible. And then you have the add to cart button right under that. That is fantastic. And uh, this just into the Tom Likas show, apparently. Apparently, the New York Yankees, yes. And the New York Yankees did have a request. And it was delivered by public address announcer Bob Shepard. The New York Yankees are kindly asking Pope Benedict the Sixteenth handlers to keep the Pope Mobile of Stadium Brass during the upcoming service. The Pontiff will be holding Mass at Yankee Stadium on Sunday. Tickets available at the box office and all Ticketmaster outlets. Thank you. More on that story as it becomes available. Oh my. 1 800 5 800 Tom. That's our telephone number. Uh, <laughs> this is John on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you, man? Doing great. Good. Hey, um, just a couple things. Um, I know there are a lot of people out there who don't uh, find the Pope relevant, but I want to give a couple of historical facts uh, why he's relevant. Number one, he is the head of the longest standing government in the history of the world that has technically been. Which famous. is a joke. I, by the way, I've been to the Vatican. I've been there. I've been to St. Peter's Basilica. I've been to the Sistine Chapel. I spent uh, the better part of two days uh, walking that entire city, which yep. is 37 square miles. It's a joke. That but it, it is, is not. It is not a country. I don't care what they say. It is not a country. It is not a government. It's a church. And, and, well, and, and our again, country and our country should not be treating the Vatican like it is a country because it isn't. But the facts are, it is. And number two, he's head of state, so they have. Well, to fine. Him. Then you know what? This is a country, or the studio of the Tom Likas show is a country as well. And we're going to fly our flag. I said so flag. It was not a dean state, reference. Tom? What? Are you denying that he's head of state? A uh, head of well, uh, uh, he's, he, he's barely the head of, of a community, much less he's a city or a state. He's He's the head of the 1.2 billion Catholics in the world. It's the largest. That is not a country world. any more than Jews are a country or uh, Buddhists are a country. It's a religion. It's not a country. But he represents 1.2 billion people on earth. I don't he care. I don't care. And by the way, it, the fact that he's coming to the United States is it's only relevant to the people who are going to see him. It is not newsworthy. It is not an event. I mean, he's going to come here. He's going to say mass at Yankee Stadium, that, 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 that wonderful religious cathedral uh, in the South Bronx. Just beautiful. Uh, and and that's it. So what? Why is this news? There's, there are masses said every day. Masses because said every said. Sunday by the Pope uh, and St. Peter's Basilica. So what? Do we cover As those two? He's visiting as head of state and the head of the world's one point. It's a joke. Catholic. It's the a joke. The papacy has been relevant for two thousand years. No, it it's long, relevant. It is. It is relevant. It is only relevant. It is only relevant to the groupies who follow the Pope. 
Oh, you're jealous, Tom. I'm not the least bit jealous. And by the way, why would I be jealous of somebody like that? Yeah, you'll probably go back to the church on your deathbed. I yeah, believe. sure I will. Bye. Bye-bye. 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 Jesus Christ. Suzanne on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. I was just calling to talk about um, the Pope's empire he's got there with the $1.2 I just heard from the last caller. Um, it's no surprise he gets so much attention when the Catholic Church, if it was a business, would be the wealthiest business in the world, the wealthiest entity on Earth, um, which kind of makes me angry when his 1.2 billion followers happen to be, you know, the most poverty-stricken countries in the world. Right, and the Pope says, hey, don't bother using any condoms. Don't worry about it. Yeah, because we want more Catholics, so they can buy more Pope bobbleheads. <laughs> you walk around with your, your pewter keychains with pictures <laughs> of the Pope on them. Endorsed by the Pope, by the way. That's great. Yeah, I I don't understand it, but my mom's Catholic, so I try to respect her beliefs. But um, as far as the Catholic Church goes, I definitely have my own opinions about what its purpose is and, and with these poor countries and what it's teaching them to do with, with their finances, so... Outrageous stuff, Suzanne. What can I say? 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Adam on the Tom Likas show. Hey, Tom. How's it going, man? It's going great. All right, all right. Just want to talk about the Pope for a minute. Um, I think the Catholic Church, um, basically a bunch of hypocrites, you know. I was, I'm supposed to be Catholic. All I remember about the Catholic Church is when I was a kid, you know, you go to church with your mom, she drags you there kicking and screaming, and they sit you on this hardwood bench, and all you're doing is staring at this massive, you know, Jesus Christ there hanging on a cross. The only thing about the Catholic Church, what they do is instill fear in people. Uh, the priests diddle little boys. Uh, the church hires expensive law firms. They take the money out of the collection plate to pay for it. Uh, and then tries to run down the reputations of the people who have already been victimized. Uh, but they've got nothing to be proud of over there. Well, what they do, they instill fear. When you have when you have people in fear, you have them under control. That's what that's where all religion came about, anyway. Most of it, but not just that. I think personally, it's hypocritical because you have, you know, you have starving people, and I'm not saying all rich organizations, you know, should give, which I guess they should. But if you're representing God's people, as it were, like the church does and you're wearing Prada shoes and eating off gold plates, and then on the next picture, you have a new African kid starving to death. I think you're a hypocrite. If you're really God's children, then you should be spending a lot more money. Well, anybody anybody, who's, about, anybody who's a groupie of the Pope uh, should take a trip over to the Vatican and to Florence and Siena and to learn the history uh, of uh, the Pope and the history of the Roman Catholic Church going back to the 1500s, the 1400s, when the Medici family, uh, uh, they, uh, they gave us several popes all at the same time. You know, at one time there were dozens of popes. Is it true that this pope in particular was a Nazi? I've heard that. Uh, he was, uh, um, what, a member of, uh, was it a member of Hitler Youth or something like that? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, but, you know, it, but it doesn't matter who the pope is. Well, he's presiding it's, it's over the biggest. He presides over the biggest organization of pedophiles on the planet. Right, but he's representing that, and people that follow them or follow him or the Catholic Church, to me, are just lost people that have just been sold and brainwashed on some crap. Well, they're the same that. people who buy lottery tickets and pray they're going to win. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. But anyway, Tom, I appreciate your time, man. And if you could take me out with a bong hit. Do you have any reggae music there? I doubt we do. No. No, we don't. Can we all just get a bong? That's what people do while they listen to reggae music. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Andrew on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. I just uh, calling to rein in on uh, the, the beliefs of over half of the American population, and uh, that is we could care less about the Pope visiting. I don't understand. CNN is on all day interviewing people who are waiting to see the Pope. 
I mean, why is this a story? I have no idea. And as well, I don't. I could care less who President Bush meets, as long as he's doing something to help us get out of this economic crisis, which I'm sure he's not. Well, like he would know what to do about that. Yeah, that's right. So, uh, I mean, and also I, I get the point in, in making it really ridiculous with all these products, but I'd rather hear you talk about something else than the Pope, really. Well, uh, it's getting a lot of attention, and uh, my whole thing, just like when we do Ask the Atheists, is to find out why people give a rat's ass about this stuff. Yeah, yeah. From Hollywood, it's the John Liger Show. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. Well, look at this. The Bob was at the White House today celebrating his birthday, and he received an impromptu chorus of "Happy Birthday" from soprano Kathleen Battle. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday, Holy Father. Happy birthday, Holy Father. Happy birthday to you. Ouch. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Nikki on the Tom Likas show. Hi, Tom. Hi, Nikki. Hi. Um, I was just commenting on the whole Catholic Church Pope merchandise thing. I'm Catholic, and I think it's completely ridiculous how far the Catholic Church is actually going to make themselves look cool, hip, and young, trying to, like, connect with a whole entire generation that's beyond connecting with. And honestly, it's beginning to make me not want to be Catholic anymore. Yeah, well, uh, I'm not surprised uh, between the billions of dollars the church has had to pay out to victims of horny priests who can't keep it in their pants and the uh, merchandising of the Pope as a rock star. I mean, what the hell is going on over there? I have no clue. And you want to know something? It, as a Catholic, it hurts. it hurts me in the deepest place of my heart knowing that there are people out there who are using the Catholic Church and using the priest position as, like, a higher place than everybody else and thinking they can get away with absolute crap and thinking that they're better than everybody else and thinking that it's, it's okay to hurt other people. I just remember, every time you put money in that collection plate... I know. Uh, you're, it's going to pay law firms, uh, big-name, powerful law firms... Who then uh, take uh, the, that? They of course they take that money and they find experts and whatever. They try to besmirch the names of the victims who are suing them. I I can't even believe that. I mean, and it, you're it paying me. for it. I know. I don't even put money in the collection plates anymore. It just it bothers me so much. I have even gone as far as to look into different um, gospels and everything like that. And there's a gospel of Saint Thomas that the um, of the Apostle Thomas that the church ruled as heresy because it says that you do not need the mortar stone of the church. You just need God himself. And I think that's completely true. And it's making me think twice about being going to church and being Catholic and looking at God a completely different way than I right. do now. I understand, Nikki. I thank you for that. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Colton, on the Tom like his show, hello. I'm Tom. Yeah. Long time listener, first time caller. Thank you. Uh, wanted to comment on this religion stuff, man. Uh huh. But, uh, I went to I went to Rome this January for about a month to visit my brother because he's stationed out in Germany, so we traveled Europe for a while. And uh, we went to the Vatican, and that it's, like they told us the history, like you were saying, and they, like back in the day when nobody nobody knew the translation of the Bible, and they were just telling, us, "Hey, God says that you need to pay us like." So they taxed these people like crazy until they started translating everything, and it was just going nuts. Back in the day, people with money could uh, become pope, and the Catholic Church had dozens of popes. Yep, many of them were members of the Medici family. Yeah, I don't know about I don't know about all that Medici family stuff, but well, hey, the Me well, I'm just going to tell you the Medici family. Look it up. 
Uh, they were the family that ruled Florence, Italy. Yeah. My dad actually said that we're related to them somehow. They're like in our ancestry. But they, really? There, there's probably a lot of people that are in their ancestry. And just like uh, like uh, Robert E. Lee was my like, great, great, great uncle or some crap like really? that. Really? Was he Italian too? Yeah. Yeah, they're from Italy. Really? Italia. <laughs> Italy, yeah. Robert E. Lee was Italian. My uh, my great grandfather was uh, Grandpa Joe. They were all in the mafia and stuff. That's great. Yeah, he was in the head of some union. But uh, I wanted to tell you about this this movie that I found. You'd probably be pretty interested in it. Uh, it's on it's on the internet. It's called Zeitgeist Movie, and the, it's got three parts to it. And the first part is about uh, religion. It totally debunks the whole religion. It like proves it wrong. How it's all connected with the stars and how they like. There's all these religions who have the same uh, the same story over and over again throughout the throughout the ages, and it's all because of the way the sun moves and the and the way the constellations are, and they just personified all that into a story. Yeah, well, doesn't uh, the date that that Easter takes place have something to do with when there's a full right. moon? Yeah, they, it covers all that. So that, oh, yeah. that's the first part of it is about religion, and the second part is about the 9/11, but the like conspiracies about the government and all that stuff. How they were involved, and then the third part is about oh. the federal Re federal reserve system. I I, yeah. I I get off the boat on these conspiracy theory videos, but uh, thank you for the information. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Matthew on the Tom Likas show. Hey, what's up, Tom? I'm calling on the same thing that I've been listening to. Do tell. I got I got a call to uh, tell about the about maybe three or four call, calls that you had on that last guy. Basically, he was bowing down to the Pope. <laughs> Come on. What about the other 50 priests and all the other priests that are out there? Do we all bow down to them? No. I'm Catholic, too. But like the last lady... Well, there were, they were, they were altar boys who bowed down to priests, but they were facing the other way. Yeah. So if, if the, the Pope comes in, we get a bus for him. He has a bus, a bulletproof bus, bus with all the windows and all that good stuff, and we pay for Please that. Please do not drive it on the Yankee Stadium field. Thank you. I mean, come on. It's like, what, what are we doing in America? I, I have a lemon tree in my backyard. Let them come to my backyard and praise my lemon tree so I get some more lemons so I can actually have some lemon juice. I mean, all these Catholic people, they want to sit there and they want to do this and that. But he, what does he do? He does nothing. He's the what? hell are you talking about? <laughs> I just had to, to abort right there. I, I, I have no idea what he's talking about. All these people want to sit there. <laughs> okay. 1-800-5-800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Jeff on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. What's up, Tom? Long time, first time. Thank you. I am calling in because I'm actually a little disappointed in the show today. I'm on my way home from work. It didn't meet its in. usual expectations of high quality? No, I'm not really a huge religious person, but I kind of feel like you should just stick to what you know. Uh, well, tell me what it is I don't know. Why don't you educate me? Uh, well, you're, you're not a religious person. No, no. And I don't educate me on what I don't know. Tell me specifically what I said that demonstrated a lack of information. Go ahead. Well, well, I was of the understanding that the show was the basis of women, and, and again, women. you you I, I, you you're not answering my question. You're filibustering. I want you to tell me the specific fact that I stated that was incorrect that showed that I was ignorant. Go ahead. Name the fact that I stated that was incorrect. Well, I'm saying name it I didn't, I didn't now. Say you're You've got ten. I, I never said you're you incorrect. just said I'm I don't. Thinking. You just said I don't know what I'm talking about. So I, I want you to. I want you to specifically tell me what I said that indicates that I don't know what I'm talking about. You've got ten seconds. I, I just don't think that you're knowing. You, what you, you can't name anything, can you? Is that right? No, I can't. Thank you. You know, at least I went to Rome, I went to Florence, I went to Siena, I had private guided tours of all of the relevant buildings, museums, artwork, and what have you. I was in the Sistine Chapel with a private guide. I was at St. Peter's Basilica with a private guide. I was inside the Medici castles of Florence with a private guide, I spent days last summer learning all about this, which is a lot more than you ever did, you little jerk.
you don't know crap. How dare you call here and tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Tom on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. I, I don't think that guy listens very long because your show does say about the topics that we really want to talk about. That's exactly listen. right. So he, he lied right off the bat. Listen, uh, the whole Pope thing, man, I just think that it's, it's like a popularity thing. You know, everybody wants to be Catholic because Joe's Catholic or Susie's Catholic or... Yeah, I think it's just turned into a popularity thing, and especially for, and I'm not busting on the, the, the alternative lifestyle people, the gays, lesbians, that kind of thing, but, you know, I, I think that that goes along with it because, you know, a priest was gay with a boy, that means it's okay for me to be gay, and, I mean, I'm a Christian, and that's cool, and, and I'm not any type religion or anything, and if you want to be an atheist, hey, that's your choice, you know, some people like chocolate, some people like vanilla, but uh, for him to be coming here and get all the media attention that he's getting, that's just, I mean... It's absolutely insane. We're paying for it. We're having to listen to it. It's being forced down our throats. You know, I want to hear, unless he's coming here to talk about the fuel prices and he's going to help us with our actual economy, and that's the best way to do it right now is to quit taxing our damn fuel. Help I us mean, with our economy. You know what he's going to do? He's going to do what every pope does. He's going to come here and ask the president to forgive our debts, the debts that uh, we are owed by third world countries that borrowed the money and promised to pay it back. That's what popes do. Well, pay us back in oil. <laughs> yeah, pay us back, period. $2 a gallon for diesel right now is killing my company. Yeah, I mean, right. this is just ridiculous. And you know Bush is a... I mean, I'm not getting on the whole fuel thing, but I mean, it's just ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. And he's coming here. I mean, who's going to pay for the electricity that he's using? I mean, I know they're charging tickets. Or, or do you have to pay to get into Cranky Stadium? Uh, I, I think the way that works is that the churches were given a bunch of tickets. So each church in the archdiocese got a certain amount. Some churches probably had raffles. Some of them uh, probably, uh, yeah, I'm sure people had to join a raffle or something like that to get those tickets. That's just, it's absolutely insane. It's like a popularity. I mean, you don't hear about any other high-end priest and any other Baptist or Pentecostal religion coming into town. Well, the only other religious figure that's been getting this kind of attention is the Dalai Lama, who was uh, entering the country, uh, uh, I believe, in Seattle, wasn't he? I don't know. I didn't even hear about it. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know why we're paying. Why are we paying any attention to this? Why is CNN wasting our time with this? Well, I mean, you know, it, the, the, the other thing about it is I don't want it stuffed down my neck. You know, we've got an election that's going on here in an economy that we really need to be focused on. I mean, look at what Wall Street's doing right now. It ain't good. No. And meanwhile, the only thing that's profiting is Exxon and Mobil right now. I mean, if people really look at that, and the government's not going to help us on the fuel because they're making a percentage of the dollar. Well, they're making thirty percent of every dollar that we spend, and it goes to four dollars. They just tripled or quadrupled their percentage. They're By the way, help. Tom, I've got advice for you on that. Do what I did: buy okay. shares in the Vanguard Energy Fund or any other energy mutual fund, and yeah. uh, make the money back on the other end. Yeah, that's I'm, true. I'm raking it in. Tom, take me out NASCAR style, boss. NASCAR style. I, uh, I think we got that uh, one particular one there. There you go. Okay. 